All right, all right, all right. I know that sounded cheesy, but I'm excited. Um, so let's just get to the beginning. All right, we are gonna be working on printmaking. You see that in all caps, do not get rowdy. Please, please, please read the description. Please know the due date. Please know that we have a lot of supplies to cover in this whole entire project. All right, so please, please, please pay attention. Now, you got this yesterday, okay? And that was Monday. Today is Tuesday. And you should be watching this video on a Tuesday. Um, you need to fill this little space out for a design, okay? Now, I've told you in the past to draw a light till you get it right. And here is the HB pencil. Hopefully, you drew that lightly until you started giving it some darkness. Now, you're also going to want to get a 4B or potentially a B, a regular B, a 2B, a 4B, a 5B, 6B, or 8B. But 4B works. So, you're going to go ahead and make sure that there is plenty of graphite in the image because you want it to transfer very well. Okay, and so you really want to get these outer edges because that's what you want to uh, be able to see for whenever you start to carve. So I'm gonna make sure that most of this image is well darkened. Yeah, and this right here is gonna be like super tough for me. Now what I've done is I've taken the artist emoji in my iPhone and the nerdy emoji in my iPhone and I have combined them. Ooh, that looks bad, but I can fix that in the carving stage. So I just gotta be mindful to fix that area. It's kind of ugh. All right, so I have taken the R emoji and the nerd emoji, and I've combined them because I am an art nerd. I am totally okay with that that designation. So. And also, remember, you can go ahead and do your letters and numbers facing the correct way. They will flip when you go to burnish to the linoleum blank. But remember, they will flip back whenever you do the print. So, have faith in the process. Trust me on this. Okay, so make sure that they are right facing, correctly facing on the design and flipped here. So whenever you make the print that they flip back to the original design that you are, you know, trying to have. Okay, so I made sure all that was darkened with a B pencil. It's the soft graphite. So uh, I used a 4B. Also, before I get started, I need to grab a Sharpie and I need to write my name and hour on the rough side. The rough side looks gnarly while the soft side, well, looks soft. So I'm going to put my name, Mrs. J. And since I do all this in my first hour class or after school, I'm going to just put that there, okay? Technically, I'm like, my first hour is my hour. And then here is the... The nice slick side looks good looks good now what you're gonna do for the burnish is you're gonna nicely place this in the center here okay now with two hands this is much easier but with one hand this is a little bit of a challenge so bear with me here if I drop this on the floor please forgive me all right I'm trying my best not to let any of that slide all right and then I'm gonna try my best with one hand to successfully burnish and burnishing is like giving it a rub down and I'm just going to rub this and massage it I know this is kind of weird and creepy but you got to do this to get it to transfer you can use a baron but um, I would be afraid that it wouldn't be consistent so all right here we go we are gonna get that Hopefully completely. Oh yeah, it's on there. Yeah, good job. Go me. All right, so now we have our burnish. 
Now, you're going to notice that there might be some stuff not showing, and that's fine. You can go back in with your pencil and, and fine-tune that, or this is going to be just enough to start carving. So, to start carving, you need a carving bench, and you're going to need some linoleum cutters. Now, what I have here is a one. I don't know if you can see that one. Let me see if it will focus. It's on the back of it. It's camera's not wanting to focus on it. But that's a one. It's the tiniest one. And this is a four. I believe. No, it's a two. It's hard to see them. They're right here in this area. It's a two, but two is big enough. You can use a four or a five to really get cut away some areas. Now, I'm gonna make a decision. I want to cut away everything that's not pencil because everything that is black, I want to be the color of my printing ink. And I want it the, 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 this part that I'm carving away to be the color of my paper, either it be white or colored paper. And this either be a black ink or a color ink. So you need to make a decision. So anywhere that there is graphite, you need to leave or take away. And in this case, I'm going to take away where there's no graphite and I'm going to leave the graphite there, which I'm seeing that the inside of these glasses and these teeth are going to be very difficult. Even this middle part of my paintbrush, the inside of the A, the R, this R, and that D. Are going to be difficult so I'm going to do those last probably on my last carving day so I can have a fresh hand a fresh mind and so on so for my first carving day I'm going to concentrate on the background so what I would suggest is getting the smallest cutter this is the one you can kind of see it and I am going to be very carefully cutting away from myself using the bench to help me and I am going to just slowly cut away. And I'm going to be really careful along the edge. Very careful. And I can even spin it if I need to. And I'm going to cut right there. All right. Now I'm going to look really cool. <laughs> I'm going to look really close. And notice that I've got a little issue right there. I'm going to be very careful with that. Okay. So any little issue is going to show up in the print. So be really careful. Okay. So take your time on the precision portion of this. Um, make sure that you are um, taking your time and trying to be as careful as possible. One for your safety and for craftsmanship. Try not to let any of your neighbors who talk too much distract you because you could potentially mess up and it is so frustrating. I can't say that you're going to be able to start over, but if you absolutely have to, I will let you. But no, I don't have two for everyone. I have just enough for one for everyone. All right, so now I've, I got the, uh, the number two. And what I'm going to do is now that I've made a... A cut really close and I said I want to cut this away I am going to start cutting this empty space away and I'm gonna be really careful and I don't have to cut a lot I just have to cut that top part away and I'm gonna try not to cut too close to the emoji face okay so this is when you go in with your fingers and you just kind of clean it up and you just do a little bit at a time. I'm going to give you uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to do this. So don't rush yourself. Really just give yourself small goals. Like on like Tuesday, after I make the burnish, I'm just going to try to do as much as I can around the face. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to try to finish all the background. Maybe start on the inside of the face. And then if I have time Thursday, I'm just going to do the hard part, like the teeth, the glasses, and inside the letters in this part of the paintbrush. Give yourself goals. That is so important. Try not to do too much at once. Try to make small goals. Now, um, 
I'm not quite sure what I want to do with all the tools. I know that I'm going to have areas over there on the countertop for supplies. But when it comes to your uh, paper here, keep this. Because what if something happens to that and you need to start over? Like it gets stolen or ruined or whatever. You don't want anything to happen to this because then you'll have to redraw it. So keep this and you might want to put your name on it too, okay? And I would put it with pen or marker, put your name on it. Put this and your linoleum cut in your storage tub, okay? Keep it in a safe place. Have your name on both because someone might take it and make it theirs and that wouldn't be nice, okay? But uh, these tools, make sure that you dust this stuff off into the floor so it gets swept and that the tools and all the supplies go properly back over to the countertop, okay? Um, this is going to be a fun assignment as long as we stay focused and we do not get rowdy. Please read this. Please be sure to be careful and safe with the linoleum cutters. Uh, this process takes a lot of concentration and steady craftsmanship. And in the end, I will have you do four prints labeled correctly. So please, please, please pay close attention to these videos. You can always rewatch them. And I do these for you because I know videos are so much easier to see than live demos. So um, happy designing, happy burnishing, and happy cutting. This is going to be a memorable assignment because it's so satisfying in the end to have something that you had carefully carved and created and put a lot of effort into and it ends up being just so rewarding to peel that paper back and be like, oh yes, it worked. So I'm just excited for you. Um, let me know if you need anything. Um, I'm here for you. All right. Happy art, people.